Hi, welcome to Creating the Goods. My name is Wendy. I had a subscriber email me asking me if I could do a video on teaching them how to do a drop shadow on an image. They said that they had problems learning how to do it in Illustrator and Inkscape. And they thought, well, maybe there was an easier way, perhaps in Design Space. I said, well, I'm up for a challenge. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a drop shadow in Design Space. So without any further ado, let's get started and I will meet you in Design Space. Okay, we're in Design Space. So let's get started. Let's go over and pick an image. I'm gonna go over here to the left and then I'm gonna click on Animals and Wildlife. Okay, I'm just gonna take the very first image Anytime you see a green A, that means that's uh, for Cricut Access. If you're a member, you can use that image. All right, I want to make a sticker. So what I'm going to do is I don't want my machine to cut out uh, around all those intricate leaves. So I'm going to go to Shapes, and I'm going to get myself a circle. Okay, first I'm going to change the canvas. I'm going to get rid of the grids and you do that going up to the left hand corner. And then I'm going to change the color and let's make it a pretty pink. Okay, so now I have my circle and I'm going to go ahead and change that. Instead of using gray or black, I'm going to use a pretty yellow. Okay, so I'm going to make that big. I'm going to make it big enough to cover the whole image. I'm going to make that image come to the front. Okay, I'm just going to size it up. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, well, that looks good. Okay, so let's try to make it. Okay, click make it. Uh-oh. It's on two different canvases. That means it's going to cut out separately. We don't want that. So let's go back. Let's group both layers. Come down to the bottom right and hit flatten. That will make it now a print and cut. So let's go ahead and make it. And there you are. We have a print and cut. Okay, so let's make that smaller and we'll put it over to the side. Let's go ahead and find ourselves another image. Okay, and I am just going to click on browse all images. And let's find an image that we can make a drop shadow. Hmm. Let's see, what would be a good image? There you are, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's click on that. It's also Cricut Access. You'll see that at the bottom and we'll insert that onto our canvas. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate that. Just go up to the top right. And let me make that bigger so you can see what we are going to do. And I'm going to go back into the shapes. I'm going to get a heart. Okay. And I'm just going to cover as much as I can. Of course, it's not going to fill the whole image, but we can add to it. And let's see. That looks good. Bring that on over. Just going to go down and weld it. Now it is one piece. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Let's make that a yellow so you can see. And then I'm going to take the original image and bring that to the front and see how that looks. Of course, we still have a lot of work to do with this to make it a nice drop shadow. I'm going to 
add a couple circles. I'm going to open up so that way I could resize it. I'm going to duplicate it again. You just right click it and click on duplicate. Okay, let's go ahead and connect them and go down and weld. Now we have starting to look really good. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. So let's move this over a little. Okay. Move the backdrop over. You need to play around with a little bit. Move your image, move the backdrop. Also, it looks like we're going to need uh, another shape. So let's move that over. Go into shapes and I'm going to get another circle. I'm going to open up the little lock so that way I'm able to stretch the circle into different positions. Okay, I'm going to move that over. And let me go ahead and weld that. And I'll move our design over, bring that to the front. Okay, it's starting to look good, but we're not quite there. I think we're going to need another shape. Yeah, right by the dog's paw. Okay, I'm going to grab another circle. I'm going to put it right over here. Okay, move the design out of the way. I'm going to click Weld. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, let's see. That's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to highlight both layers. Group it. And I'm going to click flatten. Okay, let's find an image on Google. I'm going to go down to my search bar and come up to Google and I'm going to search for free clip art dogs. See what I can find. Okay, here's some images. I'm going to click on that. So let's see what we can find. Some cute puppies. Alright. Oh, that's a cute one. He looks so sad. He's cute. I'm going to right click. Save as. Okay, and I'm just going to put in. Get rid of that. I'm going to put in puppy. I already saved this once. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Go back into Design Space. Click Upload. Click on Browse. And I saved it to Pictures. So, let's see. Puppy. And there it is. And then I'm going to open it. I always go to complex. Let's get rid of the white background. I'm going to click on that wand. Okay, so now I have a clear checkered insert. 
Okay, there's two ways of doing this. You could click on cut and print, insert into design space, and then you come back and you could click on just the cut file or your drop shadow. But I'm gonna show you an easier way. Click on cut and print. There's your image, click on that. You'll see at the bottom, insert. Okay, you're gonna see two different background colors on the other images. That's because I redid this for you to show you an easier way. Okay, I'm gonna make that big so you can see what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it. Put one off to the side, make that a little bit smaller. Go up top, okay, and click on no fill. Okay, click on no fill. Then you're going to go over to line type, change the color from gray to black or whatever color you would like. So now you have the backdrop image. It's not perfect. We are going to tweak it to make it work for this image. Okay. I'm going to head and duplicate this. Okay, I'm going to uh, change the color so that way you can see what I am doing. So let me go up to the top. I'm going to change this to yellow. You can see the back there's two layers. The back is black. The top part is yellow. I'm going to take this and now weld it. Okay, bring the image to the front. I'm going to reshape my image. Not too much because you don't want to stretch out your image. Okay. Play around with it move your drop shadow around so it starts to look good okay the drop shadow you can stretch it you don't have to worry about that it's your image do not move that around too much you don't want to stretch it out go up to the top and you could move the dimensions the width and the height that's starting to look really good. I think that looks really good. Okay, I'm going to group both. Hit group. I'm going to come down and hit flatten. Now we have our three designs, our drop shadows, and we can now do a print and cut. So I'm going to go up and click make it, and there you have it you have your print and cut with your drop shadows behind. Let's change the background. Most people use a white background, but I wanted you to see it with a different color so that way you can see there is a drop shadow behind each of your images. I'm going to change that drop shadow to white. You need to unflatten them. So that way you can change your background to any color that you want. Each image needs to be unflattened. Okay, and I'll do the dog. Okay, we're going to unflatten that right down to the right. Make that background white. And there you have it. You have all three with the drop shadow. So you can do a drop shadow in design space. I wouldn't say it's easier. If you can learn to use Illustrator or Inkscape, I would advise you to. Not all images you'll be able to do a drop shadow in design space. I also came across another problem. You are not able to save your images to a file if you are using Design Space, where you can with the other programs. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.